Hello all, welcome to another video of Midas short video series. In this video, I'll be briefly explaining the importance of Camber and how it can be implemented in Midas Civil. So this will be the agenda for today's video. First, we will be discussing the deformations in segmental constructions and how we can simulate them in Midas Civil. Followed by what is Camber and why we need it. At the end, let's see how to provide Camber in Midas Civil. So before going into the Camber, let's see how deformations are considered in segmental constructions. For demonstration purpose, I'll be considering an example of a simple cantilever beam having three segments erected at each stage. Firstly, let's see how cast in situ segmental construction deformations occur. So here we can see the first segment is erected and because of the loads it sags down. Now the second segment is erected in such a way that the formwork is adjusted so that the total displacement of the second segment will be zero. Now again because of the loading it sags down, the third segment is erected in the same fashion. Now let's see how it can be simulated in Midas Civil. For demonstration purpose, I am considering the same cantilever with three segments erected at three different stages. So in the first construction stage, the first segment will be erected. And in the second segment, in the second construction stage, the second segment will be activated followed by the third. So let's see how deformations are occurring. Go to results, deformations, displacement contour. So here the load case will be CS summation. Click on the legend and deform. Click on apply. So we can see that the first segment because of the loads and the self weight it sags down. In the second construction stage we can see a small kink over here. This is because of the adjusting of form work. So this is how the deformed shape will be. And in the third stage we can see again the third segment erected and deforming downward. This is again the kink is because of the adjustment adjusting of form work. Now let's see how precast segmental construction deformations occur. So first of all the first segment is erected now it sags down now the second segment is erected tangentially to it because these are all precast units and we, there are no form works involved. Now the third segment is erected in the same fashion. From this, we can see that the precast segmental construction will be having more deformations when compared to cast in situ construction deformations because in this case we cannot adjust the form work. Now let's see how this can be simulated in Mida Civil. For the demonstration purpose, again I am considering the same cantilever beam. So now to see the initial tangent displacement, we have to go to analysis, construction stage and check on the initial tangent displacement for erected structures and click on OK. Now I have already run the model. Let's see the results. Go to results, deformation, displacement contour. So in the first construction stage, check on the legend and deform. Click on apply. So here we are again seeing the in situ segmental construction deformations. For seeing the initial tangent displacement, we have to check this option on stage or step real displacement. Click on apply. So in the first construction stage, there won't be much difference because it is just the first segment erected. Now in the second construction stage, when the second segment is erected, we can see that there is no kink because the initial tangent displacement is considered. To see the kink, just check this option off and click apply. Now we can see the kink here. Now in the third construction stage, again we can see the kink because this is the cast in situ or the construction camber that we are seeing here, construction deformation. If we apply the stage or step real displacement, we can see the initial tangent displacement and we can see that the deformations are quite high. So I hope you understood the difference between both uh, the cast in situ and precast segmental deformations. So now seeing the deformations, it's clear that we have to adopt camber for 
counteracting this deformations during construction because this deformations will be much more and it won't be satisfying the serviceability limit conditions so what is camber so camber is the amount of curbing or arching used to counteract the effects of load so now let's see the video so camber is provided in such a way that the segments will be arched upwards or in the opposite direction so that once the segments are erected because of its deformation it will come to the desired position so this is how camber can be provided so camber is nothing but the deformations coming onto the uh, segments during construction stages it will be provided in the opposite direction now let's see how camber can be provided in Midas Civil now let's come to Midas Civil so for getting the camber tree or the camber diagram let's go to first run the analysis let's go to the results tab camber or reaction general camber for balance cantilevers we have a direct direct wizard camber which calculates the FCM camber directly which is explained in another video so today I'll be considering the general camber for demonstration purpose so go to general camber control here we have to select the structure group and the construction direction I have selected the structure group 4 so structure group 4 I have included all the elements now after that let's go to the load construction stage camber for construction stage look here so here we do have different options select deformation camber so according to the deformations coming in the construction stages the software will consider the camber in the opposite direction so select general camber select the elements and click apply so here in the three dots we can see the deformed shape and how the camber will be provided in the upward direction for seeing the camber tree diagram let's go to the results camber or reaction general camber general camber graph view click here the load cases summation click on ok so now we can see how the camber is provided for each nodes here we can see the node numbers corresponding to the camber that should be provided now again for seeing the camber table click on general camber table click on ok so this will be the nodes and this will be the camber that should be provided now let's see if the camber is applied properly let's go to the results deformation displacement contour here go to the first construction stage so here deform legend because of the deformation it sags down but to see the camber displacement click on here including camber displacement click on apply so we can see that the software automatically considers the arching up or the camber for the first node here we can see that it has been raised now in the next construction stage we can again see that the deformation in the is in the upward direction that is the software is considering the camber so if we don't want to see the camber this will be the deformation that will be in the downward direction but with camber in the second construction stage this will be the deformed shape now in the third construction stage because of the camber we checking the results in d is a direction on apply once the camber is applied the segments align itself at zero displacement that means the camber provided is correct and the segments are not having any more deformation during the construction stages so at the end of the construction stage the def the desired position of the segments have been achieved by giving the caper so i hope this video was useful so stay tuned for much more interesting videos thank you